Blessings YouTube. I'm Empress T and welcome to Spiritual Vibrations. Today I wanted to talk um, quickly and briefly about our pineal gland or as some people may have heard it called our third eye. Yes, there are three. We have three eyes. The pineal gland is the thing that is the least talked about, but is the most visible. And what I mean by that is the symbol of the pineal gland appears everywhere throughout history. Our pineal gland is a pea-sized pine cone looking gland that sits in the middle of both of our brain lobes. And it's so tiny but it is so significant. And in the daytime, it secretes serotonin, which our bodies need for energy, um, to feel good. It can give us a sense of clarity and calmness. It can also give us um, an expanded perception. So that melatonin is the thing that gives us that, uh, that euphoric feeling, that feeling uh, that we want to get lulled off to sleep. The pineal gland is the gland that keeps us connected to the universe as a whole. It is what keeps our bodies in rhythm, our body rhythms and our circadian rhythms in step and in time with the sun and everything else. It, it is also charged with um, giving us the ability for self-knowledge, for that self-awareness. It is also responsible for our creative energy, our creativity um, is said to come from our pineal gland, from that melatonin release. Throughout time, throughout history, we have all been exposed to the knowledge of us having a third eye. It just was never explained. And when I say we've been exposed, Every single civilization from the beginning of time has in some way, shape, or form highlighted the pineal gland. I'm sure you've all seen pine cones, and the reason why the pine cone is used in, in just about every religion is because it's symbolic of our pineal gland, which is where it gets its name, pineal pine cone, because it looks like a pine cone. This here is an open pine cone and is representative of what an open activated pineal gland would look like. When our pineal gland is open and activated, ideally it should swell to the size of a grape. The average person, their pineal gland is P-shaped. And as I said, through, through using third eye meditation, you can decalcify and activate your pineal gland. We see these symbols all over um, in our culture. We see them on the dollar bill. On the back of the dollar bill is the all-seeing eye, you know, the eye that's inside of the pyramid. That's it, that's the symbol of the third eye right there, the pineal gland. We also see it um, in the Vatican. Um, they have lots and lots of uh, buildings and uh, artifacts that depict the picture of the pine cone. Anytime you see that pine cone now, you gotta know that that's the third eye, that's the pineal gland. Some people might be more familiar hearing about the pineal gland if it's called the third eye or the eye of Ra or the eye of the soul or the mind's eye. It's even referred to as the inner eye or the all-seeing eye. We've seen it. We see it everywhere throughout our culture now and we've seen it throughout history in every single civilization. From the Greeks, the Romans, the Christians, the Babylonians, the Egyptians, the Sumerians, uh, the Mexicans, <laughs> every culture has in some way, shape or form use the symbol of the pine cone in their religious practices. And that just goes to show you that we've known about our pineal gland for quite some time as mankind. We've known and been aware of the, the power 
that is harnessed in this gland in our bodies. When the pineal gland is activated and fully open, DMT gets produced by our own brains. And um, just a little brief, what DMT does, it's, it, it's almost like a hallucinogenic. It, it's that chemical that sedates your body enough and opens and frees your mind enough to interchange with the cosmos. So that is the reason why they say it's so spiritual. It secretes what we need to take our spirits to other dimensions. Every single civilization and every single religion, when you research it and go back and you see their artwork and their literature and their myths, all depict the idea of the pineal gland. In art, it represents the highest degree of spiritual illumination, which kind of suggests that at one point in time, we may have had one religion, one universal religion that everyone agreed with. I think right now in our culture, the most prevalent examples of the uh, third eye would be the eye of Ra. Some people like to call that an Illuminati um, symbol, but the truth is, is that that symbol was used long before the Illuminati uh, was created. In fact, groups like the Freemason and the Illuminati, they came about as a way of preserving the original religion that acknowledged that we are connected to the original source through our pineal gland. And they also knew how powerful it was to the point where certain people said, you know what, we don't need everybody using their pineal glands. We need to like dumb this down a little bit, keep everybody in check. The first time that it has been uh, documented that it was used intentionally for that purpose was in the Nazi concentration camps when they um, gave the, uh, the Jewish population uh, fluoride as a means of keeping them docile so that they wouldn't revolt, so that they would just, you know, kind of go along with what was going on, the atrocities that were going on. And now um, it's being used again. Lately, we hear a lot of talk about uh, fluoride usage, fluoride in the water. We're also exposed to the fluoride, um, to the pesticides and insecticides that are widely used to grow our food. And even though, you know, some people are like, oh, but I eat organic food. If it's grown in soil that use fertilizer that is laden with toxins and fluoride, it's not really organic and chances are it's going to be minerally depleted. Now, the reason why fluoride is the issue for our pineal gland is because our pineal gland sucks that fluoride up. It sucks the fluoride up till it gets calcified. And what calcified means is that it gets closed up. It gets like a, a cocoon around it and then it's no longer able to, um, to secrete the serotonin, it's no longer able to secrete the melatonin, and, and really our lifestyles, between our diet and our lifestyles, our, our pineal glands almost stand no chance. Um, with the lifestyles that we have, with the modern technology and the uses of lights, bright, bright lights, and the usage of our cell phones and computers, laptops, also with the scheduling of work. Some people, you know, because we have a, a, a living culture, some people have to work overnight when our body should be asleep. And so those people have had to almost flip their, um, their body clocks around just to accommodate their work schedule. So again, between our diet and our lifestyles, it's a wonder that um, anyone's pineal glands are uh, active at all and we can see it in the amount of people suffering from insomnia and the amount of grumpy people in the world um, all of that is is just from not getting the right hormones not getting the right hormones that our own body secretes um, to make us happy and healthy 
So what is the point of having our pineal glands calcify the same exact principle that led them to use it in the Nazi concentration camps? Basically, it helps to keep the population dumbed down. It allows them to be a little more than cattle so that uh, anything that they say, anything that they present to us, we kind of just take it as, you know, yeah, that's, that's it, that's how it is. Because I think it's amazing that the concept of the pineal gland and the third eye has been around for time immemorial, and yet it's not really talked about, and yet it's not really nurtured the way that you would think it, it should be nurtured because its function is so important in our lives and in our bodies. A lot of people are familiar with the Eye of Ra. The Eye of Ra is said to be the closest depiction of the pineal gland in our brain. If you were to take our brains and cut it directly in half and look at it from a bilateral standpoint, from, from the side, it's going to look exactly like the Eye of Ra, so that that pineal gland actually looks like an eye seated in the middle of our brain. And there's where they started the calling it the eye because it, it looks like an eye and that's basically what it is it's an inner eye it's an eye that doesn't get to see the outside but the inside it has to rely on all of the other senses for its information now I don't want to keep going on and on and on I just wanted to briefly talk about and explain you know what is the big deal with the pineal gland and, and fluoride and why is it even an issue the issue is that so long as our pineal glands are not activated, we are shells of people. I don't wanna say zombies, but in a way it makes some people like zombies. So I wanna give a couple of quick ways in which we can um, decalcify and get our pineal glands activated. I'm gonna give you one quick way that you can start right away um, it's almost like jump-starting your pineal gland is by closing your eyes and looking at the things all around you without moving your eyes so that you would close your eyes and you would see the chair next to you or the table or the picture on the wall. By doing that and without moving your actual eyes, you are using your third eye. So if you can practice that each day, Wherever you go, close your eyes and try to see what's in the room. And that will help you um, exercise that gland. There are also foods that you can eat that will help activate that gland as well. On the fruit side, you have apples, you have avocados, you have bananas, you have pineapples and papayas. Now the thing about the pineapple is that the pineapple, pine, you see it has the, the name pine, is also um, used to depict the pineal gland too. So sometimes it isn't always the pine cone, but it's the pineapple because it has that same similar shape. And then with the pineapple, outside of the crown, it has the leaves that represent the, um, the crown chakra. So it's like the energy going up. As far as vegetables, we have um, spinach, we have broccoli, alfalfa, garlic, okra, and we also have beets. Now the thing about beets, um, beets and beet juice, is that it's very rich in boron. Now if you watched my other video about how to purify water and about the um, adding of the boron, then that's a natural way of giving your body boron. And if you watch that video, then you know that the boron helps to irrigate the fluoride out of your body. And there's also tamarind. As far as nuts, you have uh, pumpkin seeds, you have almonds, you have fennel and flax seeds. Those all help to decalcify and thus activate the pineal gland. The one surefire way to activate your pineal gland is to get out in the sun. Get out in the sun. When the sun is rising, those first couple of minutes, if you're able to get outside and just gaze at the sun, not with your eyes open, I recommend that you close your eyes and just look at the sun for about five seconds. Just count five. You don't want to burn out your, your pupils and, and damage your eyes, but you just want to give your pineal gland 
that light, that activation, that jump start from the morning. And what that's going to do is synchronize your pineal gland with the sun immediately. And when you do that, then you get your body rhythm back in sync with the rhythm of the universe. And that's the goal. We are all part of the universe. We are all connected to the original source. And we've all been, I don't want to say, um, it's almost like having a little chip in all of our brains, you know, that um, is activated by external forces. It's not even activated by us, but it's like a, like a little microchip in there. And um, we just need to maintain it by eating the right foods. At the end of the day, you know, when the sun goes down, they recommend that you try to get to sleep as soon as quick as possible. The time in between the sun going down and when you go to sleep has a lot to do with what type of rest your body will get. So they recommend that you try to go to sleep as soon after the sun goes down. And it's, 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 it makes a lot of sense because when you think about the old cultures before we had all this modern technology that, that's designed to keep people up day and night, they were good with dust to dawn. They did everything in between that time. They woke up in the morning at the crack of dawn they did everything they had to do and at dusk everybody was in the house they already had dinner and they were ready to go to sleep and that was it life was simple people were healthier and and i'm sure that people were a little happier as well so that's the goal we want to we want to work toward that goal we want to work toward getting our pineal gland back in sync with the universe once it's open and activated then you will be able to to channel the energy from the universe into your body for self-healing and also into your life to change and manifest your wildest dreams because it is with that energy of the pineal gland that we create and fulfill our dreams. So I hope that that was a little helpful and, and not too confusing. I just wanted to shed a little bit of light. Like, So thank you again for watching. If you like my video, please like it share you can leave me comments down there um i do answer them and thank you again for watching and blessings